Understanding Knock Heads Together, a Guide to English Idioms. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of English idioms, focusing on a particularly vivid expression, knock heads together. Idioms like this one add color and depth to our language, but they can be tricky for learners. So, let's break it down together. At first glance, knock heads together might conjure images of physical conflict, but in the realm of idioms, it's not quite so literal. This phrase is used to describe the act of forcing two or more people to stop arguing or competing and to focus on cooperating or reaching an agreement. It's about intervention aimed at solving a problem or dispute, often by someone in a position of authority. Understanding where idioms come from can often help us grasp their meanings more deeply. The phrase, knock heads together, likely originates from the idea of knocking sense into someone in a very direct, albeit metaphorical, manner. Historically, it evokes the image of bumping people's heads together to make them stop fighting and pay attention. While the origins are not precisely documented, the imagery is powerful and speaks to a universal desire for conflict resolution. Using idioms correctly is crucial in sounding natural in English. Here are a few examples to show how knock heads together can be used in sentences. The project manager had to knock heads together to get the team to meet the deadline. If those two don't start working together soon, I'll have to go in there and knock their heads together. It took someone with her experience to knock heads together and find a solution. In each case, the phrase is used to express the act of intervening in a dispute to promote cooperation or resolution. While, knock heads together, is a common and useful idiom, it's important to understand the cultural context. This phrase implies a level of authority and assertiveness that may not be appropriate in all situations. It's best used in contexts where conflict resolution is needed and the speaker has the authority or responsibility to intervene. As with all idioms, tone and context are key to appropriate usage. And that wraps up our exploration of the idiom, knock heads together. We hope this video has knocked some linguistic sense into you. Metaphorically speaking, of course. Idioms like this one enrich our language and make it more vibrant. Keep learning, keep exploring, and don't hesitate to knock heads together in your journey to master English. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next video.